Welcome to the LifeTouch Yearbook Training Series. In this episode, you'll learn how to create and edit an index. The index is an alphabetical listing of the subjects in the yearbook, alongside a list of all the page numbers where they're pictured or referenced. Creating an index should be one of the very last steps in our yearbook creation process. This will prevent us from having to recreate the index whenever changes are made to the yearbook. Let's get started. From the dashboard, we'll hover over Book Builder and select Manage Index. Here, we have a high-level list of the steps we should take before creating the index. We want to wait until after we've flowed all our portraits and placed our text boxes and candid images into the yearbook. We've finished tagging names to our candid images and text, and we've run a student frequency report to make sure our students are all well represented in the yearbook. All those topics are covered in our other episodes, so be sure to check those out if you have any questions. Ready to create an index? Great, let's make one together. First, we need to check this box verifying that we understand that creating an index too early in the process will result in extra work. So I'll check that, and then click the Generate Index List button. Great! Our index has been generated. Here we have a list of everyone who will be included in the index. We see their last name, first name, grade if they're a student, pages where they're pictured or referenced, and the number of times they appear or are referenced in the yearbook. Let's try flowing this index into our yearbook. We'll click Flow Index List. Here we have some options for our index design. On the left, we can edit the style for our letter headers, which are the large letters that begin each section of names. Here we can set the style for our names. And here we can choose how many columns we want per page. I'm going to leave it at two per page. I'm going to add one extra page to my index to allow for overflow if I add more names later. I want to flow my index to page 24, so that's good to go. Next, I'll click Flow. There! Let's take a look by clicking Go to Index Pages. That looks great! Let's navigate back to our Manage Index page and discuss a few scenarios that might come up. So I'll hover over Book Builder and select Manage Index. Now that we've flowed our index, you'll notice that this entire section is grayed out. If we want to make any changes to the index, we'll first need to unflow it. Let's give it a try. We'll click Unflow Index List and click Continue. Okay, our index is now unflowed. Page 24, where we had our index, is now empty, and our options on this page are all available again. Let's discuss some of the options on this page. On the left, we have the Reset Index List button. This button will regenerate the entire index from all the tags in your yearbook. This could be helpful if we ended up adding candid images and new tags after we originally generated our index. If we reset our index list, all those new additions will be added to our index list. It's important to note, however, that any manual changes we made to the index here on this page will be lost when I reset the index list. It's like starting over fresh. That's why it's so important to finish all your tagging before generating your index so we can avoid having to reset it. With that in mind, let's discuss a few of the manual changes we can make here on the Manage Index page. If I need to make an edit to the page numbers listed by someone's name, I can click the pencil icon, enter the page numbers separated by a comma, and hit Save. Clicking the trash icon will delete a name from the index. Here on the left, we can manually add a name to the index. This could be helpful if we need to add someone who doesn't have a subject record in the system, such as a guest speaker or a school mascot. Let's get our soccer team's mascot added. I'll enter the first name, Ready, and the last name, All Star. We have an image of him at a soccer match on page 13, so I'll type 13 here and click Add. There, you can see that Ready was added to our index. On the left, we can make additional changes to our header and name style. But for this example, I think we're all set. Let's reflow our index by clicking Flow Index List, reviewing our settings, and clicking Flow. Great! Let's take a look by clicking Go to Index Pages. 
Perfect. Our changes have been incorporated and our index is back where we'd like it. And that's how to create and edit an index. For more info on preparing your yearbook for indexing, including tagging and running a student frequency report, check out our other episodes. Happy yearbooking!